Hello guys, it's your boy the Cookie back again with a new video and today I'm gonna show you how to download Metal Gear Solid Integral on your Android device. So I'm already saying the total space required to download and run the game is 900 MB so you need 900 MB something not accurate but yeah to have this game and yep let's get the video started so on the description I have given three links so you need to download I mean click the first link and this application of web page will come and you need to download this app as you can see there's the download button the blue one and there are older versions also but I recommend you to download the latest one as I am having so click the download and swipe down and you see the start download button so just click it the size of the app is only 750 MB something just take it as 7 MB so click on the start download and just a minute okay so you're gonna have you might have this notification of do you want to download <laughs> well yep so I actually already downloaded this app I really don't want to waste time so it will get downloaded so after you download it install it and then click on the second link to download the disk one so there are two disks so this is the disk one and another is disk two so the size of this disk one is just take it as 500 MB and the disk two is 400 MB equals 900 MB as I say on the beginning of the video so just click on direct download so do you want to download the disk one so uh, I downloaded this already so just click the download while I'm just crossing it out so it's actually gonna take time because it's actually um, 500 MB file so the next step you're gonna do after you're downloading this file is so after you got the disk one file download the disk to file which is take it as 400 MB well it's not 400 accurate uh, more than 400 MB but I'm gonna take it as 400 MB disk 2 so as I said before just click on direct link so the disk 1 disk 2 are uh, you need to download it from the same website as you can see it's the free rooms so both pages look the same to verify that you are gonna you so you can see there's a black note over there Metal Gear Solid version 1.1 disk 2 it's clearly written it's the disk 2 page the previous one was disk 1 so just click on direct download and tap on the download button so if you might get a notification as this file or this application is harmful for your device then just cross just say ok because it's not actually it's just your device telling it for your protection so now the main step is after downloading both of the links and I mean both of the file and the application install the application as you can see I'm just gonna type it out so as you can see I got the app the emulator EPSXE so just tap on that so just click on the first run BIOS is okay and then go to a run game so as you can see I already got the CD2 here so how to have the game here as you can see yeah So, um, wait, it's just a second. Okay, um, brush. So, as you can see, there's a, there's a button as arrow. <laughs> what do we like? What do I call it? 
so just click on that you can see my touchpad so what folder do you want to scan for games so first of all I don't recommend you to click on the all it just it just don't work so the file you downloaded just check where it is it's on the SD card or on the external so first I'm gonna search on SD card so it's searching so if as you can see I got Metal Gear Solid CD2 here as it was before but I didn't got any file on the SD card so then go again click on the external it will search see so if both of them and the three of them doesn't work click on the three dots below browse files so there will be a parent directory click on that parent directory go to your downloads where the file is um, here you go DCIM download so yes you can see there is Metal Gear Solid disk 1 and disk 2 respectively so I'm gonna click on the disk 1 cause I already got the disk 2 do you want to uncompress the game to the SD card click on yes it's extracting file so it will take time as I'm gonna pause the video okay guys it's almost downloaded okay there we go it's done extracted done go back run game then click here I'm gonna go for the SD card then external and boom we got the CD1 and same thing you're gonna need to do for the CD2 also but I already got the CD2 and I don't know how to remove it and bring again so there we go and I'm gonna just show you the gameplay also I'm just gonna show you the controls as a proof that it works so there are animations also accurate like it was A Hideo Kojima game. Alaska, Bering Sea. Okay, so I'm gonna just cut out the whole animation since it's a long. yep you can see my touch okay so press start button so I need to open the brush again to show so yo ah uh, never mind so this thing you can see okay rise up your brightness it's really dark so you can see there is a triangle <laughs> so click on that then there are new game load game respectively it's the new game obviously so difficulty level okay um sorry for the <laughs> noise okay so i'm i will go for the easy cause um never mind click on the um, zero David Hayter, one of the best dub artists. I mean, I'm it's not dub artist, voice artist for the Solid Snake character. Well, I'm not here for review, <laughs> just cross it up.
I'm just gonna cross it up. Cross, 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 cross. Okay. Okay, so these are the buttons to move. As you can see, like this. You can just circle it out. So you can hold it. You need to tap like this, 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 this. Just do it like this. Don't tap, just hold down and as I did. So, and the other four here, you can see there was um, a triangle, a square. Oh, it's an enemy. A circle and an X. I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna calling out this as names here. I really don't know what they're called. So, to have the first person view, you, you can click the triangle. As you can see, how you're having a first person view. Down, up, and these are. So, this is like choking. No, well, there's an enemy. Just click this. The zero has some different things, it takes action. So the cross is like sit and crouch uh, like the sleep position just click this okay you just turn your brightness a little higher as you can see cross here again cross um, stand to sit and when you're sitting and move it will like this I'm just gonna ignore the call so and the L1 so an L2. So the L2 has what items you got for yourself. And like I've taken the scope here and now I just click the L1. L1 is like turn off and on the item you are presently holding. It's like I took the scope and now it's not with me. Okay, it's annoying. So L1, L2, and the R2, that noise, man. Yeah. So the L2 is what weapons you're carrying. I mean, not L2, right, R2, okay. The right and the left there are. So the R2 is what weapons you will carry. You can select it. Well, right now I have no items. I'm a poor guy. And the R1 is also to turn off and on. So and to call okay is important so to call your you know kernel i mean you will get it when you will play it click on this square no i mean the rectangle on below of the screen then this you can right now you can only call your kernel the campbell and this is like pause It works for pause and what do we call it again? Okay, okay, oops. So I guess I showed you the controls and I'm gonna as you can see. Action. First person view. And the light you can see on the map of it. So they are the enemies are having a light. So they can only view if you're under the light. If you're not, they won't they won't be able to see you at all. So yep, that's how you download the whole game of Metal Gear Integral. I mean Metal Gear Solid Integral. So um Yep. So guys, don't forget to subscribe and just a minute, okay? Yeah, don't forget to subscribe my channel, The Quickie, and also follow me on follow me on Instagram. I just said the follow two times. Sorry. Well, I, I just don't need to say sorry about it. It's a mistake. So yeah, follow me on my Instagram and subscribe me on YouTube. I don't have any other social media accounts like Twitter or or Facebook or TikTok. Well, by the way, why why will I do TikTok? <laughs> Okay, so, yep, that's the ending.